All right, we are pleased to be joined by Cougar Ford Cohen Zemer after the NHL scouting combine and just a, a few weeks out of the NHL draft. Some some very exciting times to say the least. Uh, Zemes, nice to, to see you. It's been a been a couple couple days, couple months, but uh, good to see you. How how are things, man? How's the off season uh, treating you here as we get into to mid June? Yeah, no, uh, I took about a week off their training and uh, back in the gym, back on the ice again. So uh, it's it's pretty exciting times. Uh, just trying to keep busy, busy for the draft here and uh, just finish with the combine. Obviously, you're a, a busy guy, as you just imagine. What's a day in the life like for you right now? I know you're a big hunter. Uh, do you get out much since, you, since you've since you been back home, back in Marathorpe? I guess with all in all, what kind of a is a day like for you right now here in the offseason? Uh, yeah, so today, I'll, I'll explain today, kind of woke up at 6 and went to power skating at 7. I uh, had that till 8 and then went straight to the gym and then uh, for a couple hours. And then right after that, I went to another skill skate and then, uh, pretty much got the rest of the day off for myself. Where do you skate usually? Where's kind of, kind of the spot? Uh, to Williger in Edmonton is, is my go-to with my, uh, power skater. Cool. Um, NHL scouting combine, uh, it seemed like a really busy week from the outside looking in and talking to Riley a little bit about it, but it was a, you know, a six day, Six day process, a lot of meetings, obviously, and then it wrapped up with the fitness testing. But uh, how did you see it? Uh, the whole NHL scouting combine, how was the experience? Yeah, it was really cool. I think uh, going at, into it, I didn't really know what to expect. Uh, it's pretty cool meeting with teams you grew up watching and uh, the sport I watch uh, hockey man, growing up my whole life. So it's pretty cool meeting with a bunch of teams and uh, not very many familiar faces that are uh, being a late 04 with all the 05. So uh, I met a lot of new people there and, and, and to go through with Riley was pretty cool. What was the, was there any, there's probably a lot, but was there a, what were some, maybe some eye opening things that, that you noticed at the combine where it kind of made you stand out like, wow, this is, this is pretty cool. Yeah. I think going into the meetings and seeing ex NHL players uh, in the, in the meetings with the scouts and, and the GMs, like uh, you go into Detroit and Steve Eiserman's in there and Sean Horkoff and Chris Draper. So it's, uh, pretty cool walking into to a room and seeing those guys and uh, what what they've been through in the careers they had. And then you finished the the whole week with the fitness testing. Um, what were maybe some of the the ones that you excelled at the most? We'll talk about the one that you won in a little bit, but what were some of the more challenging ones and maybe some that that you did pretty well at? Yeah, I'm not much of a jumper, so uh, the vertical jump and the horizontal jump weren't their best for me. But uh, I I thought the bike tests were probably my my best too and. Uh, just doing that and then the grip strength I'm pretty good at. So, uh, but yeah, the jumping, jumping's not my thing. Uh, so a lot of people saw that, that you won the, so I think the actual title is the anaerobic fitness fatigue test. So, uh, maybe tell us, uh, the general person, what that is. You finished first out of, out of every prospect there. So, uh, maybe take us through what that one is. Yeah. So it's the, the Wingate test, which is the 30, 30 second bike sprint. And, uh, just to keep the pace up, uh, I think my pace was the best from, uh, start to finish. Cool. And, uh, you know, you mentioned the meetings, obviously it's probably a pretty cool thing. Did you see them throughout the entire week and then it wraps up with the fitness or how does that work? Yeah. So the first three or three or four days there was just strictly meetings. Uh, no fitness testing. You kind of just had your, your fitness testing by yourself and uh, just practicing like that. And then the last uh, two and a half days where we're testing. So uh, it was a pretty busy week. Uh, but yeah, it was, it was a really cool experience to go through that. And uh, I think uh, going into it, it just makes it more exciting leading up to the draft here. You mentioned the draft. Two weeks away now, we're getting really close to it. Uh, how are you feeling right now uh, going into it? Is there nerves, anticipation? I, I guess what's kind of going through your head just two weeks out uh, before you head over to Nashville? Yeah, it's really exciting. I think uh, a little bit of nerves going through the systems, but uh, you never know what's going to happen and you never know where, where you're going to go or uh, who you're going to go to. And I think that's the most important part is, is just finding out who who I'm going to end up with, hopefully. And uh, going into it, it's it's pretty surreal feeling. Uh leading up to the draft here and uh just to go through it with my family and friends it's uh it's all worth it you're teaming up perfectly into these questions here cohen who who for uh, your family side of things who's all going to make the trip over to nashville for obviously you know a really special day for yourself yeah so my whole family is going my girlfriend's coming and then uh i got about 12 other family members that are that are flying down and we're uh, renting an airbnb and staying down there for for a couple of days 
what yeah, I was gonna say what's the plan when you get there? Obviously, Nashville, you know, pretty pretty cool city. Um, obviously, you know, country music a big scene there. Um, but nonetheless, what are kind of uh, your plans once you get there? Once the the draft concludes. Yeah, so my family's a pretty pretty big country music uh, fans here, and uh, it'll be pretty cool. I think we're going to some some live music and the, the Grand Opry there. We're going to that one night, and uh, I think we're planning on going to Top Golf as well. So uh, my mom and sister are pretty much the ones who who plan everything. Me and my dad are pretty laid back in in what we're doing there. Are you much of a golfer? I know, like Riley Height, he we've seen it before. He's a pretty good golfer. Do you get out much? I get out for a couple of rounds a year. I'm not. I'm not the greatest golfer. I'm pretty average, but yeah, I get. I get out a couple of times. Let's talk about the season a little bit from last year. Obviously, a really good one for yourself, scoring 41 times. You know, you scored third of the year before, and obviously, just a, a lot of really good things uh, from yourself and for your hockey team. I guess now that the se- you've kind of digested everything, that the season's over, and you know, you're I guess pretty deep now into the the dog days of the off season. I guess the the term is. But ha- ha- just your thoughts on, on how the season went. Yeah, I thought it was a cool experience. I think uh, going, winning the playoff series and uh, going a little bit of run there, stopped by obviously a wagon of uh, Seattle there. But uh, I think just to experience that and and get a taste of winning a series, I think uh, leading into next year, it's exciting to see see what we can do and uh, the bitter the bitter feeling of losing that series and just kind of bottle that and bring it into next season and uh, hopefully go on a big run again. I asked Hudson this question the other day also about did, did you get a chance to, to watch the further rounds or even the Memorial Cup in Kamloops, um, whether it was on TV or what have you? Did, did that watching that maybe uh, give you even more of a, a spark going into next year? Yeah, I think just watching it and, and seeing like these guys are still playing and, and you could still be there playing. I think it's kind of disheartening not being there and kind of puts a little fuel to the fire, I think. So uh, the goal next year is to, to be playing in, in, in May. Obviously, with you know team success comes individual success, and I think when you you look at your numbers, they've been uh, fantastic since you've you know been a part of this organization. Like, again, thirty uh, two seasons ago, forty one this past season. Cohen, what do you got in store for twenty three, twenty four? Yeah, I think you just kind of play it by ear. I think uh, you look to to up that number every year. So uh, going into this year, it's uh, I'm just not. I got pretty high expectations of myself, but uh, I think the biggest part of it is, is a team game and. Uh, just winning hockey games this year. Last one before I let you go again, just quickly about the draft. Just, you know, you mentioned it being a late 04, uh, a lot of new people that you probably got to meet, some that you've probably seen, whether it was with the, the top prospects game. But um, just how has the whole process been for you that it's, you know, coming to a close here uh, come the end of June? Yeah, it's pretty, pretty crazy. I think you look at the start of the year and and, and, and looking into your draft here and you you think it'll never come. Uh, soon enough but I think throughout the year it it, it flew by this year and uh, just just to be able to go through it with a teammate like Riley and uh, have someone that I'm close with and, and kind of go through it with them is is pretty cool and uh, makes the experience even better I think and and just uh, it's coming up faster and it's right around the corner so uh, I think just just that day it's kind of just soak it in and uh, yeah I think just uh, when you get picked by a team the, the work really starts then. Well said, Cohen. Uh, nice to see you again, man. Thank you for taking the time to, to chat with us. And uh, we'll see you in a couple weeks in Nashville. And then obviously uh, you'll have camp and then, and then main camp here. So uh, looking forward to seeing your your summer here in the future. And we'll talk to you soon. Yeah, thanks, Waldy.